July was a really great month for sewing. So let me show you all of the amazing looks that I made up. I'm Mari with Mari Sews and thanks for hanging with me, you all. So over here on this channel, I like to tell you all about the things that I've made. Mostly for my curvy body, but every now and then you'll catch me sewing for other people. I also like to share my fabric and pattern hauls with you, do reviews on different patterns that I've made up, and just kind of share with you some tips and tricks on how to fit patterns to your body. So if that sounds like something that's up your alley, I'm happy that you're here. So, well, today I want to tell you all about well, we're going to do a quick run through on the different things that I made in the month of July. And let me tell you, it was quite a bit. So we're going to try to run through these quickly. I'm going to give you some details on each of these looks. However, if you want the full review, I'm going to put some links up at the top that you can catch. But also in the description box, I'm going to go ahead and place all of the videos for each of the different looks for you. Okay, so let's get to it. First up is this pair of pants that I made using Mimi G's pattern. It's Simplicity 8889. The Ankara fabric that I got for these pants is from African Eleganza over here in Maryland. Some really nice details about this one is that it has really deep cargo pockets on the side. There is a button fly front. The instructions were really good. And, um, oh yeah, and there's fake pockets. Now we're moving into athletic wear. These tights are actually the Elizabeth tights by Sedena Patterns. Um, I used fabric that I purchased from Spandex World for this. What I love about these tights is that it has a high waist and it has a really nice back zipper pocket so you can't possibly lose anything out of there. The sports bra that I'm wearing here is the Green Style Creations Power Sports Bra and I used the extra fabric that I had from my tights to hurry up and whip this out. I left the straps on this a bit too long. And so, you know, the, the, the heavy girls are sagging a little low. So in my next version, I'm definitely going to shorten those straps by an inch, maybe even an inch and a half to really just get them where they need to be because I'm going I'm to fix those girls. So these I like to refer to as my Captain America tights. I mean, it's the stars and stripes, it's a little sparkly, and it's a whole lot of love. I just love this one. Okay, so this pattern is the Green Style Creations Tempo tights, and it has some really nice deep pockets on the side legs as well. I did use the ultra high waistband for these tights. I prefer that. And I did put in a layer of power mesh to, you know, to kind of like help them stay up along with the elastic around the waistband, which is actually something that I did on the last pair of tights as well. <laughs> the top that you see here is the Lowland Kids Racer Tank for women. And I used fabric that I had purchased from Fabric Mart. I did pull out the cover stitch machine and I did some really fun cover stitching on this one. This skirt here, let me tell you all. I love this skirt. This is Vogue 1683 and it's actually the under part of the skirt. This is a two piece skirt. You'll see the over skirt here in a bit. However, this skirt was made using some Ankara fabric that I picked up again from African Eleganza here in Maryland. And what's really funny about this is that so many of you all said that it reminded you of a mermaid, of like the scales on a mermaid. And I didn't see it until you said it. And now I can't unsee it. <laughs> it's really fabulous. I love it. The top that I paired this skirt with is actually the Cashmere at Springfield top and I cropped it significantly. I also used a contrast binding around the neckline and the arm side. And then there's the other Springfield top. Now this one's almost identical to the other one. The differences are that I didn't use a contrast binding. Instead, I flipped the binding over onto the inside. You can't see it and I lengthened it significantly. And then here is my third Springfield top. I was on a roll, you all. Now this fabric was actually purchased from Three Little Birds over here in Maryland, really close to DC. So I am just stoked that I was able to use it because it's one of my favorite crepes 
of all time. Beware, there will be more Springfields. And then here's the overskirt from Vogue 1683 that I had made to go with the purple mermaid skirt. <laughs> Now I did hack this thing so that way it tied in the back. Originally it's made to be actually be attached to the skirt, but I wanted some mix and match type of pieces. So I did hack it to tie it. You can see here, I've tied it, I'm wearing it. I love the way that this looks with jeans. I did not make those jeans. And I love the way that it looks with skirts. I mean, it's just, it's, it's good, you all. It is good. This fabric I picked up from House of Mami Wata, and it's called the Assyria Palm. This eyelet dress has got to be my favorite of the month. Now, this is the Paradise Patterns Helen dress that I made up in fabric that I got from Zilouf. I do my little bra hack trick, you know, and tape these things in, and I walk around like nothing can bother me. This dress is a good one, you all. And then there's my cotton seersucker romper. This is Amika's Digital Amo pattern that I was able to test. It has the big ruffles around the shoulder. It has that open back. It ties up at the top, um, which is optional. But for me, I feel like that's a must have. And it has a elastic waist in the back. I mean, this is, this is a good pattern, you all. And then there is the same exact pattern and my yellow, black, and white stripes. Now this fabric I picked up from Fabric Mart um, and it's a polyester crepe. You all, I just really love the way that you can play with the stripes with this pattern. I mean, they're going in one direction with the ruffles, another in the bodice, the waistband's a different direction. It is so much fun. And both of these rompers have been in heavy rotation lately. It's been hot outside and they have been delivering. <laughs> so I told you it was a really busy month, right? Well, those were 14 different pieces that I cranked out in the month of July. Now, I don't think August is going to be that productive. I got, I've got vacation plans. I've got just some chilling out plans to do. And I'm going to be getting ready to go back to work at some point. And so you're not going to see as many garments from me. I don't think anyways. Well, if you had fun checking out all of my makes with me, you might want to check out this video where I show you all of my May and June makes. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and click that bell so you know the next time that there's a new video. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.